name is Milka Mawere. Uh, I'm from Zimbabwe. Uh, I live in Arari. And yeah, I have two kids. What else? Yeah, and I have two kids. Very single. This, this, is, this is Diversified, diversified. diversified. Game. 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 A podcast giving entrepreneurial advice from a diverse and inclusive perspective with Kellen. He may agree, he may oppose, and it's more than just race, it's about, you know, ideas. So, let the game begin. Hey, it's Kellen, and today on Diversified Game, I have a special guest all the way from Zimbabwe. Some of you say Zimbabwe, I'm old school. Where is that? Uh, That's Rhodesia. That's, you know, we're just um, in 2021 for all of you who are stuck in the past. And I have Milka on the show and she had reached out to me and talking about investment opportunities in Zimbabwe. So, you know, Africa is the now and the future. So I definitely wanted to hear, you know, her ideas and her thoughts. So Milka, welcome to the show. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you, Kellen. Well, thank you. And tell the people, because you know, I saw on your LinkedIn, you were an investment broker. And I just wanna know, like, what type of investments do you see that the diaspora especially could, you know, benefit in your beautiful country? All right. So with Zimbabwe, it's uh, almost everything because since independence, things have been going down. Generally, the way I see it as a layman is because we do not own the means of production. Everyone else owns the means of production, uh, the British, the Germans, uh, generally white people and Chinese people and Indians. The local, the people we don't own the production. So if anything happens that they don't like, they just flee. They go to neighboring countries. To South Africa, it means our countries, um, the field is closed. And can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, I hear you. Oh, okay. So when the capital goes, when they close the companies, it means us, the local people now, have no employment. That is why there's so many Zimbabweans everywhere. We're not really, um, how do I say, um, adventurous. If a Zimbabwean leaves Zimbabwe, it's because of economic issues, because this country is Wakanda, I tell you. So the investment opportunities in Zimbabwe are everything. Um, we have everything. The human capital, the Zimbabweans themselves, the people who are here, we're good. They can do anything. But the problem is capital. We do not have access to capital. Um, so first and foremost, the one thing that I am seeing right now, if anyone has money and they want to invest in Zimbabwe, the one thing that they can start making their money on is on energy, energy production, because we do have issues with electricity. Um, since independence, at independence, we had, um, I think we had Kariba power station and Wange coal power station. And then we electrified everything, electrified raw areas, electrified the town, and there's growth and everything. But our electricity is not expanding at the same rate. So that opens up to someone who wants to bring in solar, like uh, solar for everything, because um, urban homes, they need solar. Remember when I was talking to you that I was hoping that on the day we do this, we'll have... Um, electricity because it just goes so if someone has money and they want to invest in zimbabwe right now energy sector is the best place to start solar for the uh, urban homes solar for the rural homes solar for for the companies there's a company i know they have a building in arare and it's running on solar but you know what they say people know what they need but someone has to give them what they want they know what they need but where to get it that is the issue. So someone who brings in solar panels, um, packages for homes, um, solar fridges, gas fridges, you know, the whole thing for, for solar. And yeah, if they have money and the billionaires, there's uh, government tenders for, for, for solar farms and everything. But someone who wants to make quick money, 
is to bring solar to the urban home. So for wow. me, that would be the first wow. first place. So because it, yeah. So how does because you know big companies can come in, they can bring in you know their millions of dollars and say okay we're going to just put up a big building or we're going to create a company um a solar investment for you know an entrepreneur who's been saving who wants to invest in africa how much do you think they would have to save because here in america solar is very expensive compared to the prices that i have got quotes for in at least cameroon I mean, the price, you know, you could say $2,000 in Cameroon, but in America, it's 40000 So if somebody wanted to invest in solar and they wanted to, you know, use you as a consultant, because you are a former banker and financial advisor, um, how much would you say they would need? Well, it depends um, on when, when you come in as, as an investor through uh, our investment company, the Zimbabwe Investment Company, there is a parastatal that does that. They expect you to bring in at least um, 100,000 US uh, if you're seeking residency. For 100,000, that is a lot of money because you know that Zimbabwe, we use the US dollar as our main currency. So mm -hmm. whatever you invest, so the moment you start running your business, your income starts coming in, you coming it comes in as us dollars and it's mostly cash so it means you get your money back um so if you can bring in the hundred um, thousand us and the hundred thousand it means you're bringing in your your capital equipment so you can bring in your panels um good quality ones because the problem is we do have the chinese here and for some weird reason the chinese bring in poor quality products to Zimbabwe. So those things don't last and we don't trust them. So if someone brings in something that is good quality and um, like I told you, Zimbabweans are enterprising, good quality and word gets around that so and so company is bringing in good quality things, their business is good to go. Because then word of mouth spreads and solar goes, uh, sorry, not solar, electricity goes every other day they're in good business as long as they're bringing in quality product. Advertising is not an issue. Okay, so $100,000 and you can get residency. Do you know if there is a CBI, C, uh, Citizen by Investment, um, you know, portion? If you pay maybe a little more, you can get citizenship? Yes. Yes, um, they'll have to, the first of all, assess you because you they, when you renew, then you you can apply for 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 that as well. After they've seen you on the ground and uh, you know you've the company is is, is working well and you are working well and uh, police clearances and everything, then you 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 do get that. And also um, there's special economic zones. So if you invest through those for the first five years, you will be paying zero tax. You get tax after. Five years. Go ahead. Go ahead and finish. Go ahead and finish. I'll remember my question. Go ahead. Oh, okay. So um, I was saying, uh, solar is for like for the urban homes. Now the urban homes they need that because we're losing. Uh, we don't have this uh, every other day. Uh, the problem, other problem with Zimbabwe is we also use electricity for everything. I've I've noticed that in Europe and you Americans, you cook with gas. For us, gas is like, uh, we only use gas if there's no electricity. So if someone comes in with solar and, 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 and gas, that is like, for me, that is the number one investment right now that will make money in Zim, outside of mining. For me, that is the number one um, investment opportunity that is here where the people will ever invest that way will make their money in the short term. They'll be making a profit. They'll be making a profit. Now, you know, <coughs> to even um, send that money, uh, you know, people ask me all the time, well, how will I transport that money? And what I would say is if you have 100,000 
dollars, or even if you have 